Hello everyone, this is uh, Coach Daniel again over here at Ernest Fighting Arts. I want to shoot out another video for you guys a little bit longer today on a basic workout routine that I planned out for around 35-40 minutes. So uh, bear with me on this one if you guys are having trouble with some of the techniques or having a tough time keeping up. Remember just pace yourself, you don't have to go one as fast as I do or maybe maintain the same pace. If you need a few seconds or less, it's okay to come back up, give yourself some time go right into it again. Now, I'm not saying if you're in better shape, it'd be awesome. Make it work for you. Push it a little bit more. Push yourself and apply yourself in these exercises and you guys will see a lot of results from it. So, let's go ahead and start. The first exercise you're going to do on the first belt, I'm going to ding it right here. It's our tie one, two. I'm going to the first part of it. One, two, three, four, down into a sprawl. So, we're going to start. Jab straight, hook straight, sprawl down, come right back up, one, two, three, four, back up, down, and one, two, three, four. This is the first round. Every three minutes, we're gonna switch with a 15 second break in between. I messed up on that one, that's okay. Drop the weight into the hips, keep the head high, come up, down. Seconds break. We're gonna work on some shadow boxing. Nice and easy. Anything you know, that's my last video. This is gonna be short. Deep. Next round. We're gonna start with planks. Down. High planks. We're gonna walk out. One hand at a time. As far as you can comfortably. Then come back in. Deep breaths. If you start to get tired, Either go down to an elbow plank or rest on your knees for no more than a few seconds. Try to keep moving the whole time and engage your core. Back is straight. Elbows in. Start getting tired. That's for a few. Shake it off. 
Come right back into it. Go right back in. Time to explain it. That's why it's fame early. 
So make sure you pay attention to yourself. I may at one point go on my knees, that's okay. I just wanna make sure I'm moving the whole time. Taking minimal rest. Breathe. 
I will start to get tired. You will start to get tired. Try to maintain an even pace. Breathe in. Peace. Breathe out. Now, if it starts to get impossible for you, the alternate thing, keep your toes up and toe taps. This is great as well. Keep it up. Breathe. And shh. And down. Breathe. Shh. And down. And breathe. Shh. And down. And breathe. Deep breaths again. If you need to rest for a couple, it's okay. Come back up. Shh. And then down. Alternative is the toe taps. Breathe. One. Shh. And back. Deep breaths in. Shh. And down. So slowly start to get more and more fatigued. The best thing you can do shh, is just keep pushing. Never said these exercises are easy. These are meant to challenge you and also challenge me. Shh. Breathe. Just like you guys, I'm missing a lot of classes. Missing all my training partners, of course. But make sure, shh, as we're doing this, maintain that form. Breathe. I'm gonna get exercising with you guys. Down, shh. Good, up, and then down. I'm getting fatigued too. Keep it up. Try to get those toes up. Shh. And then back down. Good control. Breathe in deep. Shh. Down. Deep breaths in. Back up. Shadow box right away. Tang. For those of you guys who are in better shape than I am, which some of you guys that know are, post down below. Let me know if you beat me. Now, next one sit ups. Same as before. This is part of our 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We do it this way. One feet here. We're gonna come up, up, and then try to touch the elbows. Up, and try to touch the elbows. That first one was a very bad repetition. Up, try to tap the elbows. Up, and then try to tap the elbows up. And you can come here, and up as well. Up, shh. Up, shh. Up, shh. And then back into it. Keep that going. Again, if you need to rest, like I'm doing right here. Shake it off, breathe out, right back in, and try to get some repetitions in. This is meant to challenge you. If you can do it more than I do, awesome. Up, up, up. Try to keep your feet on the ground, unlike a couple of repetitions I've done. Try to keep them focused down, and then shoot up if you can. Here. Really work your core and extend. I'm doing kind of a bad job demonstrating here, but it's okay. Shh, keep it up. I'm trying to maintain a good pace. Breathe. Shh. Up, over, down. Breathe. And if for some reason your hips get locked up or you're having trouble with this, just focus on crunches. But don't hang on the back of your head like this. Let's come up. And this is okay too. Keep it moving. Shh. Shh. You're good. Pump up. Try to keep your feet on the ground. Again. Keep them here. Or as close as you can. Up. Oh. Down. Shh. Deep breaths. Crunches if you get tired. Challenge, go for it. Shh. 
page. I myself want to struggle through this. But make it through. Breathe. Back up. Shadow box. Hands up five. Eesh. Eesh. Pain. Eesh.
to a single strike. Hands up. Hop. Hands are up. Every 10 or so skips. Anywhere in there. Throw a single strike. Sock. Good form. Tang. Rhythm. Hands are up. Feet never come together. Don't do this. Just spread. At least our Muay Thai stance apart. If you have a line like me, pop over and back the line. And keep this foot away from it. Tang. Tang. Eesh. Give yourself a little bit of rest. Hands are up. Tang. 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 Tang.
Hands are up. T. Back down. Mountain climbers. Work the heat in. And skip out. You've been doing a lot already. So try to keep your breath going. If you need a rest like I do, shake it off. Breathe. Deep breaths. And go right back into it. And kick. seconds. Shoot them out. Back into it. And do it again. Try to finish strong. And time. And time. Hands up. 50 seconds. Shadow box. Next round, we're gonna work with some technicalities. Just like this, my breath. We're gonna go into the whip kick. So the whip kick now, it's more technical. Slowing it down. Take a deep breath in, hands in your rhythm. Yeesh. I want you to watch. Throw my kick. Just like I was gonna land one, but I fling the heel straight to the ground, then bring it up like a shield block. Come right back into my stance. Yeesh. What you don't want to do this is what we call kick the can. This is a soccer kick. Don't do that. You want to have that same looseness in the leg, but it doesn't come straight up. You want to swing it from the side, just like you're about to hit somebody's leg with a target. Yeesh. And come right back into your rhythm. Yeesh. Right back. Yeesh. Right back. Yeesh, right back. Yeesh, right back. Yeesh, right back. Yeesh. Why do you do this? Normally, we miss a kick. Tie kicks are, ground kicks are very, carry a lot of power and momentum behind them. So if I try to stop it halfway, especially if I'm really committed, that's not gonna happen. So most of the time, we spin through. We protect ourselves. This, in this case, maybe you see it coming, you know they step back. So instead of spinning all the way through and potentially leaving yourself open, I catch it and just bring my knee up and swing all that momentum up and back down. Yeesh. Right now I'm just practicing on the right, on my rear leg. 
as you do the same. If you have it, switch and go to the other. But I'm just going to demonstrate on my rear side. It's usually a lot easier. Full right hand dominant, if you're left handed, use your left leg. Eesh, and do the same. Eesh. Please stay healthy, be 
be aware of your surroundings. Please stay home if you can. Um, and keep yourself moving like we're doing right now. And if you have any questions again, please reach out. Okay, hey, Professor Jeffrey here. Looking forward with you guys. Help fix any mistakes you have. Have a great day and or night, depending on when you watch this.